Hey guys, welcome back for another Blender 2.8 video editing tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at something we did kinda in the last video where we did the image overlay up in the corner of the video. But in this one, we're going to do a video overlay, kinda, kinda like the old picture in picture uh, that was on some of them fancy TVs back in the late 80s and 90s. So we're gonna take a, a video clip, play it inside of another video clip, and uh, show you how we're doing that. Okay, so I already have my videos in here. We have a video with an audio clip and then a video that I took the audio clip off of because obviously we don't want two audio clips playing. At least I don't in this video. All the proxy files have been made already, so the videos are good to good to go. Um, as you can see right now, this video is playing over top of this one. So that shows you the hierarchy of these lines in your sequencer. Anything on top is the video you will see. So all we need to do is transform this one. And just like in the last video, we're gonna left click on here, add, and then we're gonna go to uh, effect strip, transform. And then we're gonna go over here into this panel and this is now our transform panel. So first thing we need to do is make this an alpha overlayer. And then we're gonna scroll down. And this, unlike the last one where we adjusted the uh, the scale individually on X and Y. We're going to keep this one uniform because it's already the exact size we need it to be because it's a it's a video we shot and it's I know that it's right. So hit uniform scale and then we can start to scale it down by clicking and then dragging to the left and then that will scale it down. Now to move it we'll do the same as we did in the last video and you can move X which is right to left if you drag right it'll move it right and if you click on Y and drag to the right it moves it up and then that puts your video over the other video. So if we go back to the beginning and play it now, you can see... Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Blender video editing tutorial. Uh, in this one we're going to look... So as you can see it works pretty well. The video behind it plays, the video above it also plays as well. Um, and the video underneath has the audio file tied to it so it still plays audio. Everything else is exactly the same. You'll export your video just like you always have. And uh, I hope this was helpful. I know this is a pretty cool thing you can do in most video editing softwares. I'm glad Blender has the capability to do it as well. So um, if you want to know anything else about Blender or Blender video editing that you want us to talk about in a future video or show you how to do, let us know in the comments below what that is. Uh, I want to thank you for joining us again for this tutorial, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.